here we are to talk about JavaScript one more time. Um, probably many more times, but anyway, here we are. And in the last video, we went through and we we essentially, you know, attached all of the shopping cart functions to a single variable. Okay, so we have this single variable here named shopping cart, and it's an object, and then we're adding all of the shopping cart variables and all of the shopping cart methods as properties to this object, okay? And now we've got some problems because when we call on the methods, um, when we call on, on methods that belong to an object, then we have to we have to prefix the name of the method with the name of the object that owns it. Okay, so you know here when we load the shopping cart, you know we need since it's now attached to to shopping cart, right? You know the load method is attached to shopping cart here. Then we need to um, you know call shopping cart dot you know method name or load cart to get that to work. Um, and you know there's a whole bunch of method calls in here that are called. Um, called on from the original name that we haven't changed yet so you know if I look here you can see um, you know I've got this error it says reference error list cart not defined you know so I run the code and it's um, it says uh, yeah there it is list cart not defined right so let's talk about this for a minute so you know how are we gonna fix this I mean if we knew what we were doing we could just go through our script and you know and add the the object name in front of every method call but you know, a lot of times when you're working on this stuff, things like this will happen and you don't know why it happened, right? So why don't we talk about debugging for a moment, okay? So what I'd like to do here, let me make the text here just a little bit bigger, make sure everybody can read it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the error messages and I'm going to solve the problem by working through the console error messages, okay? So when I look at this error message here, you can see it says, you know, uncaught reference error list cart is not defined, right? So so list cart is our method that we define, right? Like we define this function. This is a name that we invented. So that's, you know, that's significant, right? Because you know, if it's something that we wrote, like there's chance for error in the things that we do, right? You know, the computer, like all the stuff that's built in, we're we're pretty sure that that's working correctly, right? So so this is the problem item right here. And it's not defined, right? So it doesn't exist, okay? And then over on this side, you know, um, the console is trying to help us by telling us where the problem is. And it lists the file, index1.html, and then after the colon here, and this is my favorite part, okay, pay close attention, this is the line number where the problem exists, right? So this is where JavaScript had this problem of, not being able to find or finding that the that list cart was not defined on line 51 okay so let's go let's go try and fix that right so I'll, I'll go into my code here and in some of these um, code editors you'll have to turn on the line numbers like there's an option usually to to display these or to hide them um, in um, in brackets on the view menu and usually it'll be on the view menu in most applications right so you know, I think Coda does this on the view menu also and uh, maybe BB edit does it here too um, so I'll look at the view menu and you can see it says line numbers right so I can turn those off you know but actually I want them on right because because I know I have got a problem at line 51 so let's scroll up to line 51 here oh look there's line 51 and then it says you know cart array list cart right and now list cart belongs to to shopping cart so um we're going to type that name in here and then put a dot right and hopefully that'll fix this problem so you know then we save this file and then we'll go back to our browser here and refresh <clears throat> Okay, so hey, that's pretty good. You know, I still got an error, but if we read this, it's a different error on a different line number. Okay, so that's that's good, right? So that last error is gone, and now we've got another one. So, you know, this is going to happen a lot of times, like in JavaScript. You know, essentially when JavaScript runs through the code, when it runs to an error that it can't get past, it just stops. So all the other errors that you have don't show up. And so what's happening here is, you know, we got to line 51, we fix the error there, 
And then we ran the script again, and now it got past that error, and now it got down to line 70, right? And now there's an error on line 70. So, you know, we're, we're doing better. And if we just fix these errors, then eventually our, our script will be working, okay? So what does this say? It says uncaught reference error, total cart. So that's another name that we invented. And it says is not defined, right? And then HTML, you know, index HTML line 70. So let's go take a look at line 70. So here we are, and um, here's line 70. And it looks like, you know, we've got total cart here, and maybe we want to put, you know, shopping cart in front there, right? Right, because remember, the total cart method is now attached to the shopping cart object. Let's, uh, let's hide that again. We'll save it and hide it, and then we'll refresh the page here. And there's no errors. Oh, great, right? So now things are working, right? Maybe, right? We might have some other problems. Maybe if we click the buttons here, maybe something else is going to pop up and we'll have to fix it, right? Let's click the uh, uh, cart item, right? Oh, got an error, right? What does it say? Uncaught reference error. Add item to cart. That's a method that we defined again, right? So this is something that we definitely want to look at is not defined, and then it says index1.html line 41. Okay, so back to the code here. I'm going to take a look at line 41, and then we've got add item to cart. Well, let's put a shopping cart in front of that, save it, and then hide that, refresh again. So no errors this time. Let's click the apple. Oh, error, right? Let's take a look. Save cart is not defined on line 107. Okay, so let's take a look at that, right? What do we got here? Line 107, right? 107, save cart. Okay, now here's a little note, right? This shopping cart right here, this, you know, shopping cart dot add item, right? It owns, like shopping cart owns add item to cart, and shopping cart also owns save cart. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do two experiments here. We're gonna type shopping cart dot in front of save cart. Okay. And then, you know, I see another save cart here. So let's also put it there because we'll have to do that at some point, right? So we'll put it there. And then we'll save, right? And then we'll refresh. And then we'll add a new item to the cart. Oh, look, there it updated my number of apples from three to four, right? And that, oh, wait, now I got another one, right? Item is not defined on line 111, right? So, oh, yeah, here's item right there. So actually, you know, item, this, this new is a special keyword. So we're going to put shopping cart here, okay, right? So the new has to go on this side with a space, okay? It's kind of a special circumstance. And then we'll refresh. And what do I have here? I don't have any shoes in my cart. Let me add a shoe. Oh, now the shoe works. And I can add Frisbees there, so that's all working. Okay, now one more thing here, right? Let me go back to brackets there. And uh, actually, let me go back here like this, right? And uh, so... Now remember, I, I put shopping cart here, and that's the name of our variable that holds the shopping cart, but I'm calling on shopping cart inside of a method that belongs to shopping cart. Okay, so actually, you know, anytime you're in a method that belongs to an object, you can refer to that object with the keyword this, okay? And so I'll, I'll replace, you know, shopping cart here with this and here with this, right? So this dot item means that item belongs to the owner of this method. And this dot save means, you know, or save cart means that save cart belongs to the owner of this method. Okay, which in our case is shopping cart. Now, 
the reason we would want to use this instead of the name shopping cart is that we could change the name of shopping cart in the future, okay? And we'll get into this more in another video, right? But just let's talk about, you know, I just want to get you started on the, on the idea of this, okay? And we used it a little bit earlier, and we're going to do more with it later. You know, we used it here when we created the, the item, right? Um, <clears throat> but it's an important concept, and it'll crop up in a lot of places, and it really pays to, to understand this. But essentially, you know, it's not very complicated. It's just the idea that this represents the owner of the current object without saying its name, right? So you don't have to, you know, like when you refer to yourself, you can say me or self. You don't have to use your name, right? So um, this is kind of nice because we don't have to use a specific name. We can always say, you know, the owner of this object, you know. And in a lot of cases, the owner might, you know, the name up here might be a variable and it might change, right? So it might be something different every time, okay? So let's save that and then we'll make that, we'll, we'll get into this, this thing in another, in another lesson. And now we've got some of the item, you know, some of the shopping cart functionality working again. But, you know, we're going to have a couple problems in a couple places. And you can go through and try and fix those right now if you want. And that would be a good exercise. Um, you know, but we're going to come back and we're going to kind of repair it and get it all working better than before. Um, but there's a few more things we have to talk about, okay? So we'll save this and then, uh, and then I'll leave this video off for you. Let's go give this a quick test here, right? It looks like we're adding items to the cart, you know. It looks like it's kind of working there. Oh, I got another error. So like I said, we're going to come back and fix these later okay so anyway i'll leave that for you and you can try and repair some of these errors on your own you know refer to the line number okay and thanks for watching